welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. We are set for game three in this Eastern Conference round one contest. It's been a lopsided 2-0 series, but that might change tonight. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce is our reporter. Here's the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis and Portis work together inside. Filling out the wings, it's Beasley and Middleton. And it's Lillard in at the point. And for Indiana, Neesmith out there with Pascal Siakam. Then there's Miles Turner. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. And it's Nimhart in at the two. You look at the Pacers. This is a must-win game for them after they were unable to steal either of the first two. Yeah, must-win indeed. Falling behind 3-0 as the lower seed is a death sentence. This team wanted a better round one performance than they've had so far. And that one's good. Middleton. And the quickness of Middleton on the drive is really remarkable. I mean, he gets to the bucket so fast. Here's Nimhart. And he wills that oh, one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. And you got to defend better than that. I mean, that's a good look for him. And you do not want to let him get going early because that can get you cooked. Assisted. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. Pulls it. And the basket by Halliburton. Halliburton always relentless in attacking, making it tough for the defense to find a way to contain it. It's Middleton on the wing. And it's Milwaukee scoring again. Off to a nice start here. They've hit all three from the field. Halliburton outside. Here's Neesmith. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. You know what, guys, honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. I love the execution we are seeing thus far. Four shots and four makes. Halliburton looking for an opening. Pass to Turner. Down low. Here's Neesmith. And Middleton with the block. Good instincts that time from Middleton. Since the shot was coming and got there just in time. It was a strong move. The shot's just a little off. Boy, with all the contact he drew there, that would have been a heck of a bucket. He nearly got it to go. And he knocks down the first one. It's both from the strike. Here's Middleton. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send them to the line. It could be a three-point play. Man, I like the fact that Middleton, because of his strength, is able to fight through contact and get shots to fall even when he's been hit. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. They've been in rhythm from the in-between area. Just keeping things simple and taking what the D gives them. Something else they're doing well tonight, guys? Lots of points in the paint. Something to continue to keep our eye on. That free throw good for Middleton. Boy, for me, it's really been fun watching the evolution of Chris Middleton. I mean, a rangy two-guard who can really stuff the stat sheet. Halliburton. And he goes in for the dunk. And one move. Defense, a solid kick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Here's Nimhart. Back to Turner. Oh, they get a hand on it. Clock at four. Takes the three. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's on to Kumpo. Middleton outside. Let's go with a three. Pure from three-point range. For three. Middleton's got ten. Ooh, he's piping hot. Four for four from the field. No one can guard him out there. Certainly looks that way to me, partner. I mean, his energy level is ramped up. I think he's been terrific right from the opening tip.
first quarter. We're about three and a half minutes in. Halliburton pass to Neesmith and stolen by Beasley. Middleton looking around. Pass to Beasley. Here's Ana de Kumpo. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Here's Neesmith. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Deflects the pass. Oh, and a fast break for the Pacers. And the big dunk at the end of the break. Good, fast-paced play there. It's much easier to find a shot when you beat the defense back. Here's Middleton, and they get it back. What timing from Turner. I mean, that's a big part of blocking shots. Reading the shooter, and then timing it perfectly to send that shot in reverse. It's good. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. Here's Halliburton. Here's Turner. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Halliburton's got his third assist of the night. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Offensive rebound. Bucks. And the shot goes. Middleton's got 12. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. Turner passes to Demart. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Now here's Lillard. I like whenever Beasley attacks the defense inside like that because it forces them to react. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Pacers? I really like how they're knifing inside with confidence, exploiting any openings they see in the defense, taking advantage. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. And he makes a first. You know, when Beasley stays within himself, I think he's really an effective player, and we know he's skilled on offense. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis. Hits them both. Indiana trailing here. Lee Smith passes to Turner. Here's Lee Smith from the arc. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. He's got 11. Only in quarter number one. He's put in four out of five. Great start. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Here are your Indiana Pace Bays. Toppin comes in for Turner, and it's McConnell in for Nimhart. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Crowder, he's checked in for Middleton. Lillard gets it to drop. Now two of four. You know, he attracts a lot of attention, and Lopez making the most of it there to set his teammate up with an open look. Toppin against Anadokounmpo. Clock at six. A nice shot by Toppin. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Now here's Lillard. And Giannis with the jam. And Anna 
Kumpo is so long. I mean, he stretches forever, covers a ton of ground. Halliburton finds Toppin. Up high and down it goes on the lob. And how sweet was that play? Pinpoint pass, set up the alley-oop flush. Guys, I tell you, there are assists, and then there are delicious dimes. This was the last. <laughs> no problems Jim knocking Collier. that one down. Three. And the Bucks lead by one. Lillard's passing game, a thing of beauty. Got that ball to a guy who had a quality look and got it to him on time. Beasley with it. Halliburton picks him up. From outside the arc. And the Bucks hit again Beasley. from deep. And so it's Halliburton with it. He brings it up for the Pacers. Here's Siakam. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's got six assists now in the game. Halliburton with a steal. To the paint. A nice shot by Toppin. Toppin's got six. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. Here's Lillard. That bucket makes him three for five. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. McConnell against Lillard. And Giannis Antetokounmpo picks up that foul. That's his first foul of the game. Smith, he's checked in for Pascal Siakam. Gallinari, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Beverly comes in for Damian Lillard. against Beverly. Always a nice way to start. He makes his first one. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Now here's Beverly. It's tipped. And he gets it back. Knocked away. Makata with a steal. And he drops it in from the low post. 13 points in the game. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Smith against Lopez. Back to Beverly. Six to shoot. And the box hit again from deep. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. McConnell passes to Toppin. Yes, and it's McConnell with the assist that time. Strong pass there to set up the basket. Pass to Gallinari. Now here's Beasley. Launches a three, and another three for Milwaukee. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. McConnell with it, picked up by Gallinari. McConnell against Gallinari. McConnell outside. Shoots over Gallinari. He got a piece of it. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. And it's a four-point Bucks lead. And this has been the book on Gallinari. Play him physical. Don't give him space. But you see how he's adjusted to that. Pass to Neesmith. There's the drive. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Big Brook Lopez gobbling up space and getting the block on that play. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean open looks. And the Pacers is making a change here. Jackson is checked in. Indiana has gone two of two at the perimeter. Halliburton against Beasley. Halliburton, the pass to Smith. They need this. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Halliburton's got assist number seven tonight. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Outside Gallinari. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Toppin. Pass to Smith. Rejected by Lopez. 
A big time effort for Chris Middleton, providing a lot of energy for the Bucks. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And welcome back to our coverage of Game 3 on 2K Sports. Well, let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Bucks, guys. Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. And you know what? That's what happens when you establish your three-point game early. Puts the defense right up against it. Indiana's gone three and three from outside here in this one. So on the floor for Milwaukee, filling out the wings, it's Beasley and Middleton. Jay Crowder is out there with Brooke Lopez. And it's Beverly in at the point guard position. Now here's McConnell. Five on the clock. The rebound by Beasley. Defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Deflected! Here's Beverly. The Pacers pull it in. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. McConnell passes to Demart. Pass to Jackson. Toppin outside from behind the arc. They get it back. Second chance shot. Good work defensively by Lopez. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. He's much better off making him go to the line. Shooting for Milwaukee. Chris Middleton. Two shots. good on the free throw and some changes here for the Bucks. Portis he's checked in for Lopez Anadokounmpo comes in for Crowder and Lillard subbed in for Beasley and he's good on the second the Pacers have got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second Here's McConnell. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. First team foul at the line for Indiana. T.J. McConnell. Shoot two. The first free throw is good. So McConnell nails them both. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Bucks. It's a three-point game. Over McConnell. And that one's good. Lillard. Lillard's got eight points. Yeah, just a quick dribble right into his move. Lillard with the economy of motion. Pass to Nimhart. Toppin outside. Beyond the arc. It's hauled in by Beverly. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. And the ball handling of Antetokounmpo. My goodness. Really unreal. For a guy his size, his dribbling is ridiculous. And stolen by Antetokounmpo. And Beverly gets it to go. Beverly. Five points in the game. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. You know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Here's Turner. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Exceptional skills for Turner down in the paint. This guy, I think, has the potential to be a dominant player inside for a lot of years. Now here's Lillard. Give him eight. Middleton outside. Yes, great play by Lillard to set it up. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And the Pacers call time here. The loudest sections get pieces. Let me hear you.
Pascal Siakam. He's checked in for Jackson, and it's Neesmith in for Toppin. Pass to Siakam. Over on it, Akumpo. And too long on the shot. Oh, love the intensity once they're hitting the boards. Yeah, that's been the key to their league. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. Here's Nimhart. Seven points in the game. A good look from Siakam. The wide open shot is on the money. Using focus and balance to convert jumpers. Wow. Siakam has really improved his shooting. Pass to Beverly. Now Lillard. He's marked by McConnell. From 13. Oh, great work by Lillard in the paint. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Back to McConnell. Six on the shot clock. Cash is in the 12-footer. McConnell's got four points now in the quarter. Milwaukee has got five of seven threes to drop here tonight. Lillard looking around. Yes, sir! You can count on Dave from deep. Lillard gets so much lift on his three-pointers. It's almost effortless how he shoots. Turner passes to Neesmith. And give him another one. He's six of eight and looking solid. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Portis against Turner. It's stolen away. Here's Nimhart. The shot won't fall. Oh, great D that time from Portis. And they're doing Look at Giannis go up and get it. Love the unselfishness of Beverly. I mean, when he sees his teammate wide open, time out, time he out. quickly gets him the ball. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Great show. Let's take them, everyone. Shot is off. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough. But that's how you win games. Gorgeous, gorgeous fadeaway there. I mean, that's one way to beat some tight defense. Pass to Neesmith. The foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to be on Bobby Portis. At the line for the Pacers, Aaron Neesmith. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Halliburton's checked in for Indiana. Gallinari, he's checked in for Milwaukee. He hits the second from the line. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. Yeah, I like everything you said there, because when all else fails, if you can get to the strike. Wow! Lillard with the jam! Oh, oh, wow. Dane just sticking it to the other team. And you can see it's motivating his squad as well. Back to Halliburton. 
Pass to Neesmith. Four on the clock. The baseline, Jay. Siakam, that's good. Siakam's got four points in the quarter. I mean, his shot is so dialed in. Siakam never breaks focus. Middleton with it. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Milwaukee, Chris Middleton. At the line for two. That one's off. Smith, he's checked in for Turner. The Bucks also with a sub. Lopez is checked in. And he sinks the second. For Indiana, they've gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Here's Halliburton. Down low! Halliburton working through the D. Just excellent concentration there by Halliburton. Not allowing the bump by the defense to throw him off his mark. Milwaukee has gone 6 of 8 from the three-point line in this matchup. Here's Lillard. Count that one. He's 8 for 10 from the field now. You know, he started the game knocking down shots, guys, and now in the second quarter, he's taking it to another level. Halliburton finds Siakam. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Halliburton's got eight assists here tonight. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. in for Middleton. And Beasley has subbed in for Beverly. Beasley outside. Pass to Lopez. Up and over Smith. And Lopez gets it to go. Lopez has got his first points in this one. A decent contest there by the defense, but Lopez unbothered, unfazed. And they call an illegal screen here. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Lillard passes to Lopez. And here's Beasley. Oh, he gets it to go. So far, he can't miss. He's four for four. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Here's Nimhart. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Outside Gallinari. Crowder. That's good. Crowder's got five now. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Pass to Siakam. Five to shoot. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. A long swing player. Siakam uses that 6'9 length down low. And Lillard puts up a deep three. Smith with the rebound. Indiana's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. From six feet away, and it's Indiana scoring again. 
and he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher, and his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. He's going to ride him as far as he can take him. Pass to Siakam. Over Gallinari. Siakam, no good. Milwaukee has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. That's good from Gallinari on the assist by Beasley. He's got six. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Here's Halliburton. Drills the elbow jumper. Clearly Halliburton is hunting his shots. He's not picky and knows exactly how to adjust on the mid-range jump shot. Pass to Beasley. The three ball again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. He's picking up right where he left off in the first quarter. Smith passes to Halliburton. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And he's now got the double-double. How about Halliburton? This fella going right to the rim. Sneak knocking on that attack. Impressive. He buries it from three. Crowder's got five points now in the quarter. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Kicks it out to Siakam. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. Here's Lillard. Pure. That's basket number nine on 12 tries. Yeah, Lillard is relentless on offense tonight, getting bucket after bucket for his team. Three-pointer, Halliburton. And again, it's Indiana with a three. And so it's Milwaukee now holding a 12-point lead at quarter's end. Tough to run with them. They get the ball up the court so fast. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Doc Rivers and Coach. You guys came out aggressive in the first half. What stood out to you? You know, we're getting to the paint and making plays. They're a great team as far as rotation, so we just got to make the right passes. It all starts with attacking the basket. Thanks, Doc. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And hello again. What a showing tonight. A sold-out building is where the action is happening. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Well, for the Bucks, we're only two and a half games into this series, but it's already looking like they've booked their place in the next round. Up two games to none with a huge lead tonight. They are in the driver's seat. Shaq, let's get your take on Milwaukee. They built this lead from the perimeter. You know they have shooters to do it. We know sometimes they play outside in. This is one of those games that's going on by the script. Impressive performance thus far. And now, Kenny, let's get your opinion on Indiana. Well, the effort hasn't been there in terms of rebounding the ball. They're getting outworked in that part of the game. But you've got to be more physical to turn this thing around. I don't know if they have the personnel to do that. Though. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And thanks for sticking with us as this round one game continues. What a game we're seeing from Damian Lillard. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. Great to have you with us again as we return to our coverage of round one. We've got Neesmith, Miles Turner out there with Pascal Siakam. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. And it's Nimhart in at the shooting guard. That's the five for the Pacers. Here's Beasley. Ooh, he's been flawless tonight. Now he's six for six. Boy, the baskets keep coming for Beasley. I like how assertive he's being tonight on offense. Siakam in the post. Anadokounmpo covering. Just five on the clock. Here's Neesmith. Soft touch off the glass. Neesmith's got 18 points in the game. He's bringing a lot of energy 
key to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. Well, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. Kumpo pass to Lopez. Kicks it out to Ana Kumpo. Count that one. 12 points for him. You see improvement from Giannis every season in his decision making, especially recognizing when to rise and fire. Good on the bucket. Excellent execution coming out of the break. They've taken three shots and made three shots. Oh, a big finish with a one-handed jam. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. And that one drops. Beasley's got 22. A massive reason they're winning. This guy hasn't missed a shot. Not one. Turner finds Halliburton. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Halliburton, so versatile and skilled. This guy finds ways to keep the defense off balance pretty consistent. Tyrese Halliburton. Free throw good. Halliburton. And some changes here for the Pacers. Jackson, he's checked in for Pascal Siakam. Toppin comes in for Neesmith. And it's McConnell in for Nimhart. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Beverly's checked in. And both free throws good for Halliburton. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Here's Middleton. He gets it. He's seven for eight and really going at him out there. Middleton so good under pressure. He's always composed and under control. Nice shot by Turner. They haven't missed a beat coming out of the locker room. A perfect four for four. And the Bucks call time here. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Inside, Portis. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Portis has got six points. Portis stayed focused and knocked the shot down, even through the contact. McConnell against Beasley. McConnell passes to Halliburton. Shot clock at six. Fires from deep. Halliburton knocks it down over the tough team. I think because Halliburton can knock down that three with regularity, you've got to defend him closely at all times. Nice one-handed jam. Simple, ineffective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. Here's Beverly. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. He has seven. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pass. They need to run plays for him, get him more touches, whatever it takes to get him producing. To the inside. And then Portis with the dunk. You know, Beasley not trying to do too much or get too cute there. Just um, finding the open man in a simple fashion. Well done. Three-pointer, Halliburton. It's deflected. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. 
They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. And that was good. The versatility of Halliburton, that's what you love about him. He can score it, he can pass it, and he makes very good decisions. Middleton, no good. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Halliburton outside. Toppin left side. Yet another assist. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Beverly, the pass to Adonikumpo. The teardrop and the layup is up and in. Adonikumpo's got four points this quarter. Just a lovely touch on that little flaw from Adonikumpo. You know, that's a nice little shot to have in your repertoire. This guy is the full and total back. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Oh, it's been quite a game for Malik Beasley. And I think a new plan would be a good idea. At least make it hard on this guy. Pacers making a change here. Smith's checked in. On defense, the Bucks. At one point, they led by 16. Pass to Halliburton. Shot clock at five. And Chris Middleton gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Damian Lillard's checked in for Milwaukee. Bucks substitution, Damian Lillard. against McConnell and he's going to the line for two the official saw contact while he was going up Damian Lillard picks one up all right well look at how the points have been generated so far a scoring breakdown for the Bucks. well you know in some circles this is an unpopular point but there can be value in taking the mid-range shot this team is certainly proving that tonight yeah, another thing they did well was feed the ball into the paint. They really utilized their size there tonight. The Bucks making a switch here. Gallinari's checked in. That one's no good. To the middle. Here's Beverly. Yes! Great play by Lillard to set it up. Hey, Beverly's got nine points. And talk about imposing your will. That's ten straight points in the paint. Well, constantly finding lanes to the basket, getting great looks inside. Back to McConnell. Clock at six. Top and passes to Jackson. Three-pointer, Halliburton. Got a hand on it. How impressive was that? The little fellow, Beverly, extending out for the block. Showed us some nice timing for a guy that's not... Much taller than 6'2. Middleton against Toppin. Middleton passes to Gallinari. And he's going for the lob! Boy, left it right in the sweet spot with the lob. Nicely done. Giannis always trying to impact the game at both ends, but really has become a workhorse on the offensive end. Jackson gets the bucket. And so it's Lillard who brings up the ball for the Bucks. 13-point lead. Puts up a three. And the Bucks hit again from deep. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas. They're being put to the test. And he's doing everything he can to keep them in this game. Gallinari finds Lillard. Here's Beverly, defended by Halliburton. Three, three, three. 
Beverly, the pass to Gallinari. Four on the clock. And another three for Milwaukee. As a stretch four, those are the shots they're depending on Gallinari to hit. He rounds out their offense when he's hitting those shots. Halliburton. Again, Indiana. He's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. Up top, Beverly. Defended by Halliburton. Here's Middleton. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. Middleton's got 20. You know, quite frankly, Middleton is the kind of guy that scores from all over the court. I mean, you just have to give him a little room so he can get his shot off, and he's typically knocking it down. <laughs> Throws it down emphatically. He's got serious hop, right? You add that to his ability to penetrate, that's two easy points. A lot of bounce ability there, guys. I mean, well above the rim. That's what makes him dangerous. Middleton passes to Beverly. And that comes off the assist by Middleton. Hey, Beverly's got 11 points. Tell you what, the defense has to feel lost. I mean, Beverly is talented, really talented, and quite good at nailing those tough shots close to the basket. Top and shot is off. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. And he couldn't get an easier shot. The defense right now just looks defeated. Well, that's exactly the kind of defense that's gotten him into the hole. Here's Halliburton. Well-placed jumper from the free throw line. Halliburton's got 11 points in the quarter. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. He's checked in for Smith. Neesmith comes in for Jackson. And it's Nimhart in for Halliburton. Lopez, he's checked in for the Bucks. Beasley comes in for Beverly. Lillard against McConnell. The baseline, Jay. And that one's good. Lillard. Lillard's got 24 points. He's known for the long ball, but Lillard every bit as effective in the mid-range. Lopez with the steal. McConnell against Lillard. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. At the line for the Bucks, Damian Lillard. Free throw good, Lillard. Yeah, I think something that doesn't get appreciated enough is Lillard's patience. Well, he's not one to rush things or look for easy outs. He knows it takes hard work to succeed. Here's Middleton. The baseline J is off the mark. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Takes one from 10 feet, and he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Siakam's got 17. Ooh, ooh. Cooking it up down low. It's spicy pee. Middleton outside. Good. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. Three. Lillard's got six assists in the game. Siakam pass to Toppin. Siakam looking it over. 
Here's Nimhart. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Now here's Lillard. 27 points for him. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots over McConnell. And it's Milwaukee yeah, scoring again. An elite score demonstrating once again how fast he can fill it up. And so it's Milwaukee ending the period up by a staggering 23 points. And they've racked up a ton of turnovers. Back to the game after this break. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining 2K Sports and our coverage of this first round. On the floor for Milwaukee starting the fourth quarter. Filling out the wings, it's Beasley and Middleton. Bobby Portis out there with Brooke Lopez. And it's Lillard in at the one. Beasley. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line. For Indiana, Pascal Siakam. Shooting more free throws as his career is going on, Siakam wants to get that percentage up. Lillard passes to Portis. And here's Lopez. Oh, they pick off the pass. Here's Nimhart. Siakam outside. Portis with the steal. In transition. Shoots over Siakam. Portis gets the bucket. When you watch Portis, he's not just a good jump shooter for a 6'10 guy. Bobby's just a straight-up good shooter, period. Siakam against Portis. And then Turner with the dunk. Good heads-up basketball. Sees an opening and capitalizes. Middleton outside. Beasley outside. And that comes off the assist by Middleton. Three points. Middleton's got three assists now in this one. And it looks to me like he still has some of the shooting touch that he displayed in the first. McConnell left side to the paint. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Defensive foul. And you know, guys, it's good to see Turner converting these Second difficult baskets. Foul. I mean, in part because it has to help his confidence. Jackson, he's checked in for Indiana. Halliburton comes in for McConnell. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Anadokounmpo's checked in for Lopez. a solid big man in this league. Miles Turner understands his role and is starring in it and does a really good job, I think, playing to his strengths. Here's Lillard. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Lillard's got 12 points in just the second half. Inside, Halliburton. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. And even under pressure in close, I think they've still done a good job maintaining concentration and converting the opportunities. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Pacers. Indiana has gotten seven of 12 three-point attempts to fall. 
Here's Turner. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. All of a sudden, he's balling. Halftime adjustments successful so far. Oh, what a play. It's snatched out of the air. Credit the block. Pass to Neesmith. To the right side. A good look from Turner. And the Pacers tack on two more. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. And they'll keep possession. Portis, right side. The shot that time, not on target. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for the shot. And you know Coach loves seeing his offense operate at this level. Great passing out there. Five straight baskets resulting from assists. They're playing as one unit out there. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Halliburton, the pass to Neesmith. Six to shoot to the inside. Nice shot by Turner. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and short, crisp passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assists. Beasley, pass to Lillard. Fires away from way outside. Controls the rebound and the putback. And the Bucks lead by 17. Yeah, the first half was one to deep six or forget. But in the second half, he's looked a lot better. Them hard. Good. Wow. They're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Portis against Turner. Shoots a fadeaway. On the Kumpo. It's good. On the putback. Giannis just doesn't stop working. Plays with great energy at both ends. Excellent work on the boards there. No stopping Halliburton. So physical. Attacking the heart of this defense. That's eight straight points inside. Buffalo bully ball right there, partner. And the basket is good. Lillard's got seven points for the quarter. Deep into the game, you rely on players like him to keep delivering. Count the basket. He can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. Lillard outside. Pass to Beasley. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Second personal foul. Good job by Beasley finding a way to get to the strike. Shooting for Milwaukee, Malik Beasley taking two shots. is good. Toppin. He's checked in for Indiana. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Halliburton. He's nearing a 30-point game here. Yeah, B.A., he's been decisive and aggressive. Pass to Turner. Rebounded by the Bucks. Adedekumpo has got six rebounds in the game. Here's Beasley. And counted from 12 feet. Beasley's got 13 in the second half. Well, that's sharp shooting there from Beasley. Normally, we see him a lot deeper. But that time, he chose to step inside the line. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assists. You know, nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Neesmith passes to Toppin. That one drops four. In the NBA, you just can't let guys get to the rim. Pass to Anadokounmpo. And down it goes. Two points. Anadokounmpo's got 22 points. Could have been called a foul, but Giannis stayed locked in and focused. Nimhar, good. And 
Another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off the assist. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Shooting two. And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. 100% since halftime. Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. So one for two that time at the strike. You really have to appreciate and respect the spirit Giannis plays the game with an attitude of joy and unselfishness, a beacon of energy and enthusiasm for his team. They all feed off of him. He's one of the most popular players in the world. A nice shot by Lillard. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. You know what? Teams can get a little three happy down the stretch sometimes. Letting it fly. And he gets the bucket. Halliburton's got six here in the quarter. Despite the play of the team, I think he's had an outstanding game. He's really done well here. Lillard passes to Portis. Over Turner. And all around the rim that time before dropping. Portis has got 12 points here in the second half. Boy, his teammates will feed off that bucket. Good looks there from Portis. Nimhart, the pass to Toppin. And he converts the layup. The scoring is coming easy for him. Got to keep the ball in his hands. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. You know, he recognized his players were fatigued and needed to catch their breath. Those guys were cooked out there. absolutely been ferocious in this right from the opening tip I mean he's made his presence felt it's been impressive watching him out work and out hustle everybody during this game boy he is raising his game in the postseason no doubt about it only certain players respond to playoff pressure like he has impressive stuff and from the sideline let's catch up with Allie well, over the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers' huddle. He said to his guys, this one is not over yet. You have worked hard for this lead, and we are not about to give it up now. Stay focused and keep hustling. Back to you guys. Allie, thank you. Here's Ana Kumpo. Oh, it makes it with the kiss. Ana Kumpo's got nine points now in the quarter. You can tell he's feeling it. Hasn't missed a single shot all quarter. Pass to Nimhart. That's basket number nine for him. He's nine for ten. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. The shot by Lillard. No good. Indiana's gotten seven of 12 three-point attempts to fall. Pass to Nimhart. Now topping. Here's Nimhart. Six on the shot clock. Halliburton for three. Knocks down the long chase. Halliburton's got 33. Boy, the defense was tough right there, but Halliburton just locked in, kept his focus, and knocked it down. 
Oh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Obi Toppin. Free throw is good. Indiana calls timeout. They trail by 13. And there's 138 left in the fourth quarter here. the clock now. Halliburton has to DeMar. Another possession, another assist. Another possession, another assist. Man, does he share on the ball well. Hitting his guys right in their spots. At the line, from Indiana, Andrew Nemhard. One shot. left in the fourth. Middleton passes to Portis. Back to Middleton. Three-pointer. The Bucks rebound. Indiana foul. Miles Turner. Fifth personal foul. Fourth team foul. the line for the Bucks. Maybe easily. Beasley. And that's good as he hits both shots. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Down by 12. And that'll wrap up game three. Now we'll look ahead towards an important game four for the Bucks. A pair of tremendous rebounding teams. And these guys played a little harder tonight, and that was the edge they needed. 
And with their performance tonight, you have to think this series is all but over. It's impossible to see it any other way. And I don't think it's going to get past game four. If this doesn't end in a sweep, I'll be shocked. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Damian Lillard. A quality offensive outing. When you get it going like he did, I'll tell you, it's one of the best feelings in basketball. For Indiana, Tyrese Halliburton. Free throw good, Halliburton. I tell you, one of the things I've noticed about Halliburton is his endurance, man. It is off the charts. He's always pushing the pace and really outworking other guys most of the time. He's constantly revving up the motor and taking things up a notch. Beverly outside. So we see the Bucks get the win here. The and now the that game. they're up 3-0. Winning this whole series is well within their grasp. You think it's only a matter of time, but the postseason is all about expecting the unexpected. They need to stay focused and finish strong. All right, let's go courtside to Allie LaForce with our player of the game. Allie, it's all yours. Dame, you routinely make shots that most players would not even attempt. What enables you to have that kind of confidence? Sometimes in the summer, I work on the craziest things. You know, you never know what type of situation you're going to be in. Um, you got to be prepared for it, you know, so I've worked on my fair share of crazy shots, uh, crazy passes, and, you know, you don't make a high percentage of them, uh, but I made one tonight. Practice makes perfect. Thanks so much, Dame. All right, Allie, thank you. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later.